Hello, <laughs> I'm Rachel Louise Hodgson, I'm 24 and I'm from Brighton, England and I'm an artist. Especially when I was at school I was doing a lot of um, like film photography and working in the dark room, like printing my own images and developing my own film and it kind of came naturally to experiment a little bit more with that, kind of painting on the photos that I developed, but also like looking at old vintage portraits where they would hand colour them in. I liked that, but I liked when they weren't done well, if you know what I mean, <laughs> when they looked um, a little bit wrong and kind of like badly painted and the colours were a bit off. I liked that and wanted to like kind of create that look as well. I've also always done drawing in my spare time and I guess that's come more into my work over time and the photography and the drawing um, kind of complement each other in a way. I use lots of bright colours, pink and red, <laughs> yellow. I guess I because I use childish materials so it's kind of like the colours that you would get in like Crayola have people to have an emotional response to the drawings or whatever and colours can definitely help with that. <laughs> but also I choose like kind of happy colours because I want people to feel positive or happy or whatever. <laughs> Quite often I'll like write a little thing on my drawing. It's, uh, it's kind of like a thought I've just had but then the thing is that you know I'm sure everyone has similar thoughts all the time every day but I've just like written it down and shown it in a way that someone can see it and relate to it. Um, so I've got one here. There's like, I wonder how many people have cried in this Whole Foods. And that's literally because I was crying in Whole Foods. <laughs> and then I thought, how many people have cried in Whole Foods? Um, but then I'm sure the answer is many people. <laughs> um, so it's nice to know you're not alone in that moment because you can share that photo to the internet and loads of people respond like like someone even said like relatable hashtag relatable because <laughs> then I had like, like I had a moment where, where I did um, I had a teacher that told me like just I could just like draw anything from my imagination and like I hadn't really had a teacher that had said that they all wanted you to kind of draw from reality or whatever. So then when I did something, it felt good because I was just being allowed to do whatever <laughs> rather than trying to make look something look realistic or... I don't... <laughs> did I have a point in there? Yeah, follow your imagination. Yeah, yeah. With the thing with sharing stuff on the internet, and not being so precious about what you make as well because especially now maybe like I do so many drawings that I pick which ones I like but especially to begin with when I started and I was like sharing I was just sharing everything that I did I think that's good because I don't like the idea of art only being able to be in like gallery spaces or spaces that have been like chosen by someone higher up in the art world and so something like painting on painting murals on the street is another way of just making stuff that people can see and respond to every day in life, just walking down the street. And I'm not doing that for like money or anything, it's just doing it because I enjoy it. <laughs> Baby, take a chance on my heart.